What's up, Gemini gang? Hope you guys are doing well. All Gemini placements. Um, yeah, take what resonates, leave the rest. Reading's a little late today because I had a super busy morning. Lots of cards flips over, so we're gonna try this again. Crazy busy morning, so reading's a little late, but better late than never. <laughs> Yes, uh, and spirit agrees, okay? So, um, okay. <laughs> take what resonates, leave the rest, or take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box on the website, you guys. The website is in the description box, you guys, to book a personal, okay? Um... Yeah. Also, guys, if you want to book a personal, I'm going to say it again. Please go through the website because it, it prolongs things. Emailing me, asking me how to book because it, sometimes it'll take me a day, two, three days before I even see your email. Okay. So, yes, book through the website in the description box. All right. So, romantic feelings. And it says your feelings are real and worth exploring honeymoon <laughs> all right gemini's who else had a honeymoon we have been aries now nothing wants to flip over not ready there we go trust Mm, and release your ex again. Didn't we see this the other day? Gemini's. I almost called y'all Aries. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Okay. Three of Wands. Some of you dealing with someone from a distance or someone is waiting. Mm, Knight of Swords. Someone may be waiting on you, Gemini. Whoa. Okay, I'm on to something. Someone might be waiting on you or feeling stuck. Eight of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, someone's feeling very stuck, trapped in their head in some type of anxiety. Um, you may be, you may have somebody blocked or they have you blocked, uh, Gemini's, but I feel like someone wants you to like chase them. <laughs> and you're not doing it, like... <sighs> Oh, this is the really good car for trust. Ooh. Ooh. Gemini's. What's happening? The death card. I won't take them all, but I will. The eight of pentacles. And then the six of swords. That I'm going to put back in the deck. And then the seven of pentacles on the bottom. Yeah. you. I feel like you're kind of, you're trying to see if anything's worth, something's worth your investment anymore. You're trying to see if something is, is even worth dealing with. Yep. I'm curious to know what the strength card is here, uh, Gemini. This could be something internal for you. Um, but I feel like someone may be waiting on you to come towards them or vice versa. You're waiting on someone else to come towards you. Could be a Leo, a Gemini like you, a Scorpio. Yeah, two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, whoa, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Five of pentacles, mm. the eight of swords again on the bottom. So listen when I tell you, Gemini's, someone wants to talk to you bad. Someone wants to reconcile with you bad, and I feel like they're trying to figure out how to do it. And since they don't know how to totally reach out or talk to you, they want you to do it. But Gemini, you're not doing it. <laughs> so stuff's kind of in limbo. That's kind of what I'm getting with this Two of Pentacles. Like shit kind of being in limbo. Um, and like I said, someone is really, really in their head. Someone feels like they can't reach out to you for whatever reason. So you may have told them you can't. Or like I said earlier, you may have blocked them. Um... 
or someone feels like they can't get through to you for whatever reason, uh, Gemini's. Someone's feeling like you are uh, giving up, like you're, you've given up. A lot of you have, I'm just being honest. A lot of you have given up. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This could be someone younger than you. It doesn't have to. Could just be an earth sign. But I feel like um, Gemini, it's, it's, again, I'm getting this waiting vibe. Someone's waiting. The judgment on the bottom. Yeah. Someone wants another chance. Someone feels like things aren't totally done between you. Uh, and Gemini, you may feel like you're not totally done with this person but it, i've seen something i'm not really seeing a lot of movement other than this knight of swords here but it is clarified by the fi five of pentacles so someone is doesn't feel totally confident in the conversation someone doesn't feel totally confident about coming forward towards you uh gemini it could have been something that they said or something that they did not taking all these however lots of cards came out a lot of major arcana wow the strength again king and queen of swords so we're dealing with a divine counterpart however you're dealing with two people that that are trying to keep their emotions at bay i'm seeing the ten of swords oh not for the death and the Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this isn't done. <laughs> the Two of Swords. This isn't done. It's not done yet. Nope. Um, Gemini's child, please. Some of y'all think this is done. Or I feel like some of you have made up your minds to be done with this person. But I feel like that's going to change. <laughs> oh goodness Gemini you're not done with whoever this is who are you kidding I don't know who you fooling but um something massive is going to change y'all's relationship like something massive is going to change y'all's relationship dynamic I don't feel like it's anything bad per se but I feel like this person knows that something's, something needs to change in order for them to have healthy relationships. Someone's going to change their approach uh, coming towards you. Because this, this might be the type of person that comes towards you in this Knight of Swords energy. Very combative. Very aggressive. I feel like they're getting ready to kind of change their tone a little bit. They're going to be a little bit more gentle, a little bit more loving, a little bit more patient. You're going to see a different side to this person, uh, Gemini's. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like some of you guys are like, uh-uh, I'm done with them. Fuck them. Uh, nope. Nah, you're not done with this person. Gemini's, I feel like this person is going to actually change. You're going to see a different side to them. Because they see that the way that they've been doing things isn't working for them. And I feel like this person wants you, Gemini's. Whoever this is wants you, and they're willing to do whatever it takes um, to have you. Yep, Six of Swords. I feel like you are kind of on the fence. And if you look in both of these cards, their backs are turned. This In this card, their backs turned. In this card, their backs turned. So you turned away from this person. You've turned away. That's that's another reason why they don't feel confident to come towards you. I told you. Look at this. The five of swords. I told you. Because of how they approach you. Seven of cups. Man. <laughs> and the three of pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, some of you dealing with an earth sign. Could be a Capricorn or Leo. Um, yeah. I feel like Gemini's... This person is um, 
kind of at a loss and they know that they're going to have to change. They know it. I am going to pull another card for the Seven of Cups because I'm curious to see what that means. But what Spirit is trying to say with that. Ah! Aww. <laughs> the Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. And the Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Gemini, this person's not done. They can't release you. They're holding on to you. They're holding on to hope that this is going to work out. Um... I feel like, Gemini's, this person feels like they lost you because of their um, their ways, like how they talk to you and how they approach you. Um, like I said, I feel like there may have even been like some um, verbal abuse too from this person. Like this person, I feel like, and take it out of resonance, Gemini, because this could be a mutual thing. This person talked to you any kind of way. And they're starting to see that they can't do that. And again, Gemini, this is, I feel like this isn't even who this person really is. Like, how they were acting towards you isn't how they really are. It's like a defense mechanism. Clarify the Seven of Cups for me, Spirit. Mm, I told you. I told, I told you. Eight of Swords comes out. Mm, mm, mm. And the Three of Swords on the bottom. Yes, Gemini. This is something that's internal with this person. This person projects their insecurities onto you. This person's been hurt in the past by other people. And they project their, their past hurt onto you. And that's why they talk to you how they talk to you. This person talks to you any kind of way. And I feel like that's why you pull away from this person because you're tired of being verbally abused by this person I mean it's just bottom line and they realize that they have to change that they have to change how they approach you they Gemini's listen you're going to see a totally different side to this person totally different you might not even recognize who this is because they know if they don't change it um You're gone. Like, you're out the door. I feel like, too, for a lot of you, spirit has kind of intervened, too, uh, on getting on this person about their ways as well, uh, Gemini's. This, this person is, is forced, being forced to change something about themselves, and they're starting to see themselves. And for a lot of them, it's, it's a very painful sight to see. They may have seen themselves in somebody else towards them this person projected their insecurities on you talking to you any kind of way treating you any kind of way and it's because again they're they're projecting onto you they may even feel like they don't deserve love or they don't deserve you Gemini's you have to see a different side to them though because I feel like they don't want to let at, look what look at this as I'm cutting the deck <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. I had to shuffle these. But, um, yeah, Gemini's. This person, I feel like, is starting to see their ways. And they don't like what they see. Mm -mm. Nope. They don't like what they see. Let's pull some handwritten's. I see marriage with you. Hold on, guys. Okay. I forgot I had this cut on my hand. I used them to get over you. It didn't work. Interesting. So, I feel like Gemini's with that, they may have even tried to use another person to, like, piss you off. Like, this person has done a lot of things, I feel like, to get under your skin because... They don't feel good about themselves, Gemini's. They just don't. And they were they, they try to do things and say things to you to make you feel bad about yourself. Missing you by case. If I can get anything out. I know I messed up everything. 
They don't compare to you. Mm -hmm. I miss your touch. Do you by Neo. Lots of songs about missing you. Could be a water sign, like a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I always see Scorpio for y'all. I don't care. I just want you. I feel like I told you. I feel like you're out of my league. I don't deserve you. See what I'm saying? This person feels like they don't deserve you. They feel like, like I said, you are too good for them. And a lot of times, I've said in other videos, I I personally wouldn't deal with somebody that felt like I they didn't deserve me because they they're going to act in ways that. Uh, display that this person really needs to work on their confidence like legit they need to work on their confidence these feelings I have for you are like no other it scares me and I want to wrap my arms around you and never let you go all right Gemini that's y'all's reading if it resonated hit that like hit that subscribe I appreciate you for watching peace out